morning is a bit late, no? But uh, hi, everybody. Uh, the, the, the reason of this session is to show you that there is some action be in between the Zamat Summit, basically. Okay? We, uh, we believe that one of our responsibility as uh, Zamat Summit Foundation is to develop some influence. And influence is possible only if you work on it, basically. And this influence takes, uh, uh, requires first some reflection and also requires some uh, activity, you know, creation of new events and being involved in, uh, in, uh, in events organized by, by other, uh, other organizations, being pre present on the market, I would say, okay? Now, uh, in terms of, of, of reflection, uh, what we have started to do is, uh, in fact, before even the, the uh, Zamat Summit Foundation did exist, we created a foundation, which, the name of which was the Ecofilos Foundation, the purpose of which was to put the human person back at the heart of the uh, corporate enterprise. Uh, and this developed as, a, as a, uh, in fact, as a think tank, uh, as a think tank uh, about the, 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 the corporation. And in, in, this, in this think tank, we have basically two activities. We have one summer university uh, every year. In fact, it's going to take place in two weeks from now in Fribourg. And we also have developed a concept which is the, uh, the Cercle Ecophilos, the example of which, the unique example of which is, uh, is in Paris. And uh, what I would like to do is to invite my, my friend, uh, my, my friends which are involved in Paris with me, Thomas Geoffrey for the Cercle Ecophilos, and also for the rest of the activity, Marie Armel, to, to join us, and also Jeremy, and then to, to, to join us on, on the stage, okay? And uh, I will ask, I will ask uh, Thomas first to talk about what we are doing with the Cercle Ecophilos in Paris. Thank, thank you, Antonin. Thanks to the weather, there are less people than yesterday, so it's less impressive, but there are still the Swiss calm down here, so it's quite, quite impressive for a French guy. Um, Ecofilos in Paris was created in five years ago, I think, um, by the Ecofilos Foundation, as um, Antonin said. We, we want to, to put the human person at the earth of the economy, as he said, and uh, how do we do that? It's not a club, it's just an open think tank. Every, anybody, everybody, who, whoever wants to join us is welcome. We have a meeting every month on a yearly theme. The theme of last year was the common good. The theme of this year is uh, the universal destination of the goods or, or in a uh, more common uh, language, it's um, an earth for all men and all people. We welcome uh, beautiful minds. We welcome uh, priests, philosophers, CEOs, economists. Uh, we, we are not welcome an artist, but why not? We, we, we are lucky to have uh, Rodrigo Jordan, who is here. We are lucky to have um, Father Nicolas Butet this year. Um, and uh, we, are, we listen to these beautiful minds and uh, try to understand more the subject on the, on the year. And at the end of the year, we publish a pamphlet. We published uh, The Common Good written by uh, Antonin Pujols, which is, uh, I think, at the entry of the, in the lobby, I think, and it's, uh, it's free. Uh, the important thing also is the Ecofilos in Paris is free. The, you, you can come uh, ever you want, but it's, uh, there is no, uh, no fee, no, no entry fee, and so on. Um, we have partners, we have two partners, three partners. We have CJD, Centre des Jeunes Dirigeants, uh, Entreprise et Progrès, which are two um, network, two French network of uh, entrepreneurs, two big French networks of uh, entrepreneurs. We have also the Collège des Bernardins, which is the uh, first a wonderful monument, wonderful place in Paris. It's an, an, an old um, Cistercian college, and uh, which is managed by the Catholic Church and is in dialogue with uh, 
for the world with uh, culture, economy, politics, and uh, theology. And uh, our meetings take place in, uh, in the College de Bernardin. Um, what can I say more? Um, we, decided to, we, we decided this year to, to launch with uh, Trois Temps uh, a micro Zermatt Summit in Paris, which called the New Leaders Zermatt Summit, and uh, which took place in the College de Bernardin. Just before, before going to, to, to the New Leaders uh, Forum, we, I would like to just to say that the concept of the circuit of the think tank in Paris, we would love to, to deplicate it somewhere else. We've been trying to do it in, uh, in Lausanne, didn't work. And if we could find people in London, in, uh, in Berlin, in uh, Geneva, or even in Lausanne to, to, to do it uh, and try to invite people to reflect on the yearly theme and inviting key, uh, very top people to, 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 to discuss this, 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 uh, the theme, uh, we would be delighted. Okay, that's, that's the first, and we, this is the basis of our reflection, and I would say that the theme of this year's summit was picked up because we did beforehand in Paris a reflection on the common good. And so the, we, have, we felt strong enough on this basis to, to be able to share with you what we found, okay? Now, uh, the second uh, aspect of our, of our uh, of, uh, of module of influence is the, 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 the the, new, the Zermatt New Leader Forum, which uh, took place for the first time in Paris this year. And I'm going to, to let Armel and Marie uh, tell us all about it. Um, they, they, they were in charge of preparing the forum. So this was their, uh, their work. So the idea of uh, having a, a forum in Paris came after the last year's uh, Zermatt uh, Summit because we talked about it to our friends, colleagues, and they say, wow, it sounds very interesting, but it's really far, and it's too long, I have too much work. Then we say, okay, you don't go to the Zermatt Summit, well, the Zermatt Summit will come to you. So that's how we created the idea of having a small format cell of the Zermatt Summit in Paris. The idea was to expand the audience and to let other people hear from what we're exchanging here. The second uh, objective of creating a, a, a Zermatt Summit in Paris was also to find, um, I, not, I, I wouldn't say to renew the audience, but to find a new audience target um, made of future leaders, because it's something, and we, we talked about it uh, this morning, it's something to help people in power now to think differently of what they're doing, but we thought it's as important to help people who will become leaders to at least hear about what we are <coughs> talking about here. So we, and we changed different times the name. First of all, the name was the Young Leader Summit. Well, you know, youth is a definition which is hard to <laughs> to really grasp, so we thought youth is a state of mind, so let's say new leaders forum. And so that's how we gather several entrepreneurs, young leaders, students, and, and also less young people, still young in their heads. And the, and the third point was to, in, and in their hearts, absolutely. Um, and the third point was maybe we could use it as a small laboratory to think about the subject which will be uh, uh, at the center of the Zermatt uh, summit. And so we try to, as exactly in, in partnership with Ecofilos, Thomas and Antonin, to push some subjects and try to gather personalities to speak about the subject of the year in Zermatt. So this year it was the, the common goods also. So Mary will tell you more about what happened this year in the New Leaders Forum. Yeah. Uh, what happened uh, this year is that um, we uh, organized an evening of, uh, of uh, a conference and debate. It was uh, held in the Bernardin, in the Collège des Bernardins. Um, and it's, it was on a Friday evening. It started around 6. Um, and uh, first of all, we had an introduction by Christopher and then by Father Nicholas. Uh, who helped um, everyone um, 
try to grasp uh, the idea of the common good. And then we had a panel of four speakers and um, what we were interested in is, uh, as Armel uh, said, is, is in really um, um, reproducing in Paris a, a, a Zermatt summit in small, uh, let's say, having speakers from different worlds and from different economic sectors. So we had um, someone to represent um, the political side and the political aspect uh, it was Ramayad, she's the former uh, French Minister of, of, um, of Human Rights and she, she was there to, to talk to us about her vision of, of uh, what the common good uh, was. Uh, we had somebody uh, representing um, a CEO from an international uh, French group, uh, Denis Terrien, who is also the president of Entreprise et Progrès. Um, we had um, someone, um, a former, Frédéric Bedos, a former journalist who also initiated a project called the Project Imagine. Uh, it's a wonderful project, it's a platform uh, broadcasting videos from people doing great things in the world, both anonymous and famous people. And um, last but not least, we had someone representing the public sector. Um, um, a guy called um, François Daniel Mijon, who is in charge of, the, of reforming the state. Uh, in France, which is an interesting job. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of work to do. Um, so uh, it was really interesting having those four point of views, very different, and there was a lot of debates and exchange with the audience, uh, as, as, as we do here. Um, and uh, it was um, uh, concluded by um, a presentation by the Right Livelihood Award, uh, one such, a, such, such as the one we had on Friday. Uh, it was the first uh, presentation of the Right Livelihood Award in, in France. Uh, and then a conclusion by uh, Father Nicholas to help us you know, gather all the, all the great things that had been said. Um, and we, we had, it was the first edition and we had um, almost 200 people uh, present uh, during three hours on a Friday evening uh, and staying, uh, having um, you know, a cocktail, something to drink after, uh, afterwards. So it was really a success and we hope uh, we will be able to reproduce that. Um, and uh, the inter interesting thing was that we, uh, with Thomas and Armel, uh, we were the, the, the little hands working on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the organization, but we couldn't have done that bef be, um, um, without Antonin, uh, who was there to help us. Uh, and also, um, Antonin being in direct contact with Christopher all the time, we were in direct contact with all the Zermatt Summit Foundation team, uh, and, uh, and so that helped us really, um, you know, organizing things fast and also uh, really in coherence with the spirit of the Zermatt Summit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we, we have plans to try to organize similar events, short ones, in, uh, in, in, uh, in different countries, you know, we have a project uh, uh, which uh, I hope is going to become very serious uh, in London and uh, it is possible that we try to do something similar in Italy as well. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, the, another form uh, of, uh, of, of, of action is to be to attend and in, be doing interventions in, in uh, other, you know, other events. And one of the, for example, uh, before that, I would like to just to mention the, the Aconcagua Summit, which was not very much mentioned this year. Uh, Aconcagua Summit is a, is a duplication of the Zamat Summit, which took place in, uh, last uh, October for the first edition in Portillo de Chile in the, uh, in the, in the Andinas in, in Chile. Uh, it was fantastic. It was 250 people, very much with the spirit of Zamat, and uh, which was an initiative taken after we decided by the Chileans themselves af after they attended the first edition of the Zermatt Summit. So uh, this is also the kind of, of, of projects we, we, may, we may have in the, in, the, in the future. So attending others conference, uh, Christopher I think made an intervention in Geneva in, uh, in a conference organized by uh, an association, part a partners association uh, called Economy et Conscience and I'm going to ask Jeremy to tell us all about it. Okay. Thank you. So I have um, eight seconds to say to you uh, that uh, Economy et Conscience Network is, um, uh, is working in Geneva for the common good. 
Um, as a general manager of a company, my mandate is to is reduced to almost Shakespearean question, to be competitive or not to be. So how can I do? Economy and Conscience Network is a group of directors, of managers, of uh, HR managers, who are convinced that uh, the competitivity and uh, economic performance is assured by focusing on people. We agree with the um, servant leader concept, but uh, we're, used to, to, we're used to say that uh, uh, we must be red hands manager, not because we, we kill uh, our employees, but um, because we give them applause, a lot of applause. Well, uh, we have set out to uh, create a movement to reflection, exchange and for action, bringing about change in behavior on the part of those that are in the current system. We seek to make things change inside the system while remaining within it. So what we do? We seek to exchange details of our experiences so that we can learn from, from uh, each other about the, the difficulties that each of us has experienced and how success has been obtained. We share a lot of values with the Zermatt Summit. We are not a spin-off, but uh, we are uh, an association. First of all, humanity, sharing, integrity, and equity, sustainability, pragmatism. Concrete actions. Uh, our most recent event uh, brought together some 50 directors around the theme of work for young people. At the, the end of the evening, 10 internships were offered by companies such as Patek Philippe, ABB, um, IFAG, SEG, Industrial Services in Geneva, in various fields such as uh, logistic, communication, human resource, quality control, etc. Our commitment is, is to uh, it's to organize a lot of little events to perform, to, to go from our vision to actions. And uh, we are proud to be there uh, with you, Christ Christopher, thank you very much. And uh, we enjoy to, uh, to continue with you the, the, the way to the, the new way of the the night of the management. Thank you. <laughs> I thank you very much to all of us, uh, all of you for the contribution. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> for for your, your contribution to the development of the Zamat activity. Thank you very much.